Welcome to Odyssey News. I am Mike Odyssey. And today I got for you three pieces of news. News number one, Gamescom and Hogwarts Legacy. Number two, it's back. Number three, it's back. Let's get into the news. Before we get into this, if you're looking for a place where you can call home when it comes to Nintendo news and Nintendo goodness, then you are in the right place. This is Mike Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey. You're watching Odyssey News. And here we have Monday through Friday, Odyssey News every single day. Three topics, the best ones, by the way. On the weekends, we have unboxings. Yes, reviews and products, just like you see behind me everywhere. There's a whole bunch of products, including this crazy thing here for this upcoming weekend. And every single month, at the end of the month, we have Topic Podcast, where we interview your favorite voice actors, like the Super Mario voice actors and others. So yeah. If you're looking for a really cool place to hang out, make friends, and also get to know and have fun with Nintendo, then you are here. I'm Mike Odyssey, and I'm your guy. So make sure to hit subscribe, hit that uh, that little bell thingy so you don't miss another Mike Odyssey video. And let's begin this journey together. Thank you for considering subscribing. Let's get to the news. All right, so story number one, Gamescom. We have Gamescom happening in Australia, which is a gaming convention if you have not heard of it yet. It's hosted by Jeff Keighley, same person who hosted Summer Game Fest and Game Awards. So yeah, we have Gamescom happening. And on Twitter, he posted uh, like a little teaser of a trailer that's happening, world premiere for the Hogwarts Legacy. And this is what he said. Don't miss an exclusive new look at Hogwarts Legacy during Gamescom opening night live next Tuesday, August 23rd. Streaming live everywhere, opening night live.com. That's where you can watch it. We get to see a new trailer for Hogwarts Legacy at Gamescom. Pretty cool, right? Now let's head over to the next piece of news. And ladies and gentlemen, it is back. It's back. Yes, Pokemon is back at McDonald's. Yes, they they every year they do something different when it comes to gaming, Nintendo or Pokemon at McDonald's. Either they do cards, they do figurines or whatever. I know last time they did Pokemon cards and that was just that went wild. I mean, they got Pokemon cards, real ones by the way, and they went on eBay like for a lot of money. I don't know what people were thinking about, but. It was pretty cool. I mean, I had it here on the channel. We we opened some packages on an Instagram and it was pretty cool. And this year they are back with the Pokemon box that you see here. This looks pretty cool, right? This is a good uh, little box to collect. Put it back in the collection, little thingy back there. And then inside we're gonna have some figurines of Pokemon, like little statues of some sort of Pokemon. So I don't know which one we're gonna get. I will have it here on the channel to show you guys, but look, yeah. Every year they do this, and this year they are back. Are you uh, the kind of take advantage of these like little events that McDonald's has when it comes to Nintendo gaming? Because it's pretty cool. You get, of course, you get like that Happy Meal inside. Plus, you get a reward like that Pokemon stuff or other stuff and stuff and stuff. So yeah, it's back. Pokemon and McDonald's Happy Meal, toy or cards, go get it. And last piece of news for today, it is back i for one am expecting a nintendo direct coming up soon this is part of this part is very exciting because this game was delayed due to world conditions and it looks like things in the world at least news wise have come down a little bit and nintendo wants to go ahead and just release this game so that it could be out by the holidays and we just got a maintenance check for this certain game that was delayed so it kind of you know goes in hand with a nintendo direct that we should be expecting in the month of september and they're probably getting everything ready uh, behind the scenes so that when this game launches, everything is all set. And the game that I'm talking about is Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Yes, it looks like there is some scheduled maintenance for this game. And we can see here the, the user that goes by N status bot uh, says here scheduled maintenance has been scheduled for Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp on the 16th of August. Okay, right now we are on the 17th. That was yesterday. And uh, yeah, uh, it looks like Nintendo is back on track with Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. And we might see this game 
in the next Nintendo Direct. This could be Nintendo kind of making sure that everything is kind of good, you know, on the online side of the game. So that when the game actually shadow drops, it is good to go. I feel like we are going to get a Nintendo Direct either later this this month or next month for sure. Uh, where we get we probably get the shadow drop for this game, Advanced Wars, One Plus Two Reboot Camp, or either an announcement later in the year. So it's ready for the holiday season. So there you have it. This game is back. Are you looking forward to Advanced Wars One Plus Two Reboot Camp? And are you one of those who were upset when they actually got delayed? Uh, but now it looks like Nintendo is back on this and I think it's a pretty good time to release it. Holiday season is a game that you can just just shadow drop on a Nintendo Direct release it so people can, can, can start enjoying it and then move on to the next. Hey, let me know what of these three topics get you more excited. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next awesome adventure of Mike Odyssey. Peace.